My name is Deborah Russell, as you know. I have been working as a business coach since 2001. I've been speaking since 2004. I specialize with entrepreneurs, small business owners, particularly in the arts and entertainment industry. So as Patrick said, I speak at a lot of entertainment industry trade shows. That thing's going to kill me. Um, OK, so tonight we're talking about project management. Now, what I mean by project management is everything that you do. And so this is going to apply across the board. It's going to apply work. It's going to apply family. It's going to apply your social life. It's across the board. So what I hope to do tonight, as much as possible, is merge the concepts of project management, time management, and your to-do list. Um, I do have an hour, an hour long class on time management, which obviously I'm not going to be able to give you tonight, but I am going to give you a couple of highlights, enough so that you could see how this all interfaces, okay? So a lot of people come to me and they say, actually I'm going to put this here. A lot of people come to me and they say, okay, I'm procrastinating, I don't seem to be able to get myself to do the stuff, I know what I need to do, but I can't get myself to do it. And using project management can be a solution to procrastination because it helps you decide what to do. Procrastination, in my experience, is a symptom. Sometimes it's a symptom of an inner conflict or issue. Sometimes it's a system more of an outer conflict or issue. In today's class, I'm going to be talking about the outer aspect of it rather than the inner, that's another class. So project management is going to help you decide what to do because very often we procrastinate because we're just not sure what's the right thing to do first. There's so many things to do, how can we decide? It can help you to know how to do it. Okay, I've got this big goal, but how do I get started on it? What should I do first? And then it also helps you, and who here has more than one thing going on in their life? <laughs> right? So you, have, you are juggling a million projects, a million things to do. They all seem just as important, right? Project management can really help you decide what's the most important to do first, and how do you balance those competing requirements on your time? <laughs> So it's also a solution for prioritization. It helps you to apply your values, meaning it helps you decide what's most important to you and apply it to how you act. Very often we think things are important to us, but our behavior shows something else entirely. So this allows you to apply your values to what you do. It helps you to keep the big picture, the long-term thing in mind so that you actually get to the things that you want to get to and don't just put out the fires. How many of us spend all day putting out fires? Yeah, right? So this is going to help you get to things other than the most urgent emails in your box. And finally, this actually will allow you the freedom to change your mind without feeling like you'll lose your, your place. And uh, Reese and I know, we're, Reese and I are big systems hounds. We love our systems. The thing about a system is that it allows you to set this project aside and do something else, and then come back and pick it up exactly where you left off. So you don't lose your place. So you can say, you know what? This next hour, I'm going to focus here instead. And how many of you have to-do lists? How many of you have, of you have, keep your hands up, how many of you have more than one to-do list? How many of you have to-do lists on little post-it pads all over your house? Okay, this is a solution to that issue. Um, it's going to help you move from the laundry list of all of the that you have got to get done into a list that serves your priorities. It's going to help you move from urgency into importance. You know, Stephen Covey talks a lot about that, that fourth quadrant, which is what's really most important to you. 
and not just doing the stuff that's important to everybody else. It will also help you move from overwhelming. How many of you feel overwhelmed by your to-do list? Yeah? Move from overwhelm. How about your, how about your to-do list actually motivated you? <laughs> Is that a concept you guys could like get behind? Wouldn't that be cool? So this is going to help you to do that. Now, I want to start with the basic idea. First of all, there's two kinds of, pro with, of projects. Most people think of only the first kind when they think of a project. And that's the one-time project. OK, I'm going to get my website done. Or I'm going to organize this closet. But we also have ongoing projects, like maintaining your relationship, like maintaining your health and wellness, like doing your laundry. These are ongoing, recurring lifestyle projects.